What I'm going to show you now is how to use the GIMP to make color images. And before you start this, you need to have saved the FITS files as JPEGs using DS9 or some other program. So once you've saved the FITS files as JPEGs, you can come here to GIMP and go to File, Open, and then find your JPEGs. Mine are right here. And you can either open them one at a time, or you can hold, hold the control key and click on each one, and click open, and all three will open. Okay, and two of them opened in the window where you can see, and here's one that opened outside. Now when you do this, you'll be able to spread, spread these out nicely across your monitor so you can see them all at the same time. I'm putting them in here, so hopefully you'll be able to see them a reasonable size. So, now that they're all here, what we need to do is add color to each one. So, this is the green one, so we'll start here and go to Colors, Colorify, and choose green and say OK. Then we can go here to the blue one and go to Colors, Colorify, and choose blue and say OK. And then I'll go get that red one and go to Colors, Colorify, and click on the red button and say OK. So now that we've given each one a color, the next step is to combine all of them to form a color image. So the first step is we need to have a Layers um, toolbox open. So I'm going to go here in the red image and go to Windows, Dockable Dialogs, Layers. You may already have this open. Often GIMP opens it automatically, but sometimes it doesn't. So we've got the Layers dialog box that we're going to need soon. So what I'll do first is um, we're going to use this red image as the base image and then copy the other two colors in on top. So I'm going to go to the green image first and go to Select All. And you could um, use the shortcut of Control A. I'm just going to do this. And then I'm going to go to Edit, Copy. And again, you could use the shortcut. You could use Control C. I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to go back to the red image. And I'm going to go to Edit, Paste. And again, you could do Control V, the shortcut, if you want. So I'm going to paste. And now you see it there on top. Now what I need to do is you can see in my layer dialog, I've got this floating selection pasted layer. And I'm double clicking on that and I'm going to name it green. And click to enter. Okay. Now I can take this green image and close it. I'm not going to bother saving. We don't need to use that anymore. So now I'm going to go to the blue image and again select all, edit, copy, and then go on to our other image. And you can see in the title it's actually red. It looks green because we copied the green on top. And now I'm going to go to Edit, Paste, and the blue's pasted in on top now. And so I'll go to the blue one and close it. We don't need that anymore. So here we've got these three JPEGs sandwiched on top of each other. We're looking at the blue, but that's just because we can't see through it. So the next step is to change the name of that pasted layer to blue, like we did before. And then I'm going to, I'm, you can see I've got the blue layer selected. I'm going to make it so we can see through it now. So on this mode, I change it from normal down here to screen. And as you can see, we're seeing through the blue now, but we can't see through the green. So I'm going to go to green here and change that to screen. And now we have um, a color image. So the next step, you can see this looks a little bit funny. And that is because um, they come in slightly, the images come in slightly out of alignment. So what we need to do is click on over here on the toolbox. There's a tool with um, arrows up and down and side to side and it's called the move tools and it says move layers selections and other objects so I'm going to click on that actually first I'm going to click on the zoom and what I'm going to do is zoom in 
here and as you can see these stars are not lined up the red image the star and the red image is a bit up here and from the blue it's a bit down here so I'm gonna zoom right in on this star and what I'm gonna do is then click on the move tool and I'm gonna first I'm gonna make the blue layer invisible by clicking on this eye and we can't move the background layer we can only move other layers so when I click on this image I'll be able to move the green layer all around so I'm gonna do my best to line up this green right on top of that red star okay then what I'll do is go back here turn on the blue again and turn off the green make the green invisible and now when I grab it I'll be moving the blue layer so I'm gonna take the blue star move it right on top of the red as well as I can something like that now look at them both and as you can see the stars now lined up so what should happen is when we zoom out again if we go to view zoom fit image in window it looks a little better those stars are all pretty much lined up so I'm gonna make this just a little bigger and what we can do now is because I saved the fits file in as JPEGs in DS9 I get this funny bar thing and I'm just gonna get rid of that by cropping so I'll use the crop tool to go right here to the edge of my, my image drag down here and click enter and now that's all I've got so that's all we need to do for that um, there's more experimenting you can do with GIMP that it has a lot of other functions and if you get here and you don't like what you're seeing sometimes it can be worth going back to DS9 and scaling things differently and trying again um, so but once you're done with whatever you want to do you need to save the image and the way you do that before you can um, because you can't save an image with multiple layers is what we have to go to is go to image and flatten image and as you can see the layers disappeared and we just have one background layer now so now we can go to file save as and save this as m16 color or whatever name you want to give it and push save and again you can choose a quality setting I'll just choose the best quality and say save and that's all there is to it